So there's a whole fort under all this greenery here. And looks like there's stairs down here to get to it. You coming? You coming? This is neat. Whoa. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I, I don't know if we're going in that, dude. I'm going in there. You going in there? Yes, sir. Dude, the echo of it. Hello. Hello. I think somebody up there said hello. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> No. Go ahead. No, I'm good. Go no, I, I don't like that. <laughs> Was that a window? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's open. It is open? No, thank you. No, it's four and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out that window. I gotta check it. I gotta check it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right. Ain't nothing in there. All pitch black. I can't even see anything in there. But, I mean, people have been all through here. That's for sure. You're not really close. Wow. Ow. Ow. Hit my head. I need one more Okay. I didn't expect to see one like that. That one's all that's this one all covered underground. So but we're gonna go check out this other one that's up here over the ridge. Or at the top of uh, the cliff, I guess. And see what we can find. See what that one looks like. Maybe it won't be as creepy as the one we were just in. <laughs> I don't know. It looks just as creepy. <laughs> that looks like something out of a horror movie. Yeah, I don't think we're going inside this one. It looks like everything's blocked off. But at least we can go up on top of it. Is this more stairs? Can we go further up? Yeah, we can. The sun is right in my eyes. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, there's more stairs right there. We can get all the way up on top. Look at all the concrete's all dented in from people swinging on it. Well, I'm sure from the elements too, but 
That's cool. Stick your hand in there. There's nothing even in there. That's neat. Amazing, the ocean. Gosh. So they're gonna have a tour started in like five minutes. In the meantime, we're checking out one of the buildings. Cold War era stuff. Hmm. That's crazy. Battery A, 2nd Battalion, Nike Hercules, 51st Artillery Launching Area. Whoa. People in here, every week, that are just amazed that this is this is This is where we built just the missile. I see. And uh, the motor would slide in here. We'll do, I'll show you where we do that. Okay. This is the guidance section. Yes. This is the rocket body with the control fins and stuff on it. And over against this wall, we still have all the test equipment. They pulled it out for the winter. And that'll come back in for the summer. But this whole wall was filled with test equipment. Interesting. Uh, that, does, that imitates the radar. Okay. Hey, whoa. That's crazy. That is awesome. It turns the entire That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. You said the, the thermonuclear it would sit right in here? No, it goes between. Oh I'll show you. Right here. Go to the next building, I'll show it to you. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Warhead. There's another warhead in the tip. And another one in the back. Oh, if you see, this is the Patton classic explosive C4. Same thing. The detonator, electric, runs off nine volts. Around the outside, all the little shrapnel stuff. Now, oh, wow, yeah. here's here's a lesson you can apply to today. Do you see the picture of the tractor and stuff that was in Poland that supposedly was hit with a surface to air missile by mistake? Was that? Like just recently, yeah, about two weeks ago, yeah, it showed the trailer up on end and it showed the tractor with the big rubber tires on it. Yes, and there was a big hole in the ground. And okay, this is the warhead on a surface to air missile, mm -hmm. they're all the same. They have to use shrapnel like a shotgun shell, yeah, because you don't want to miss the target. So when they glow, you want to spread, it's right? Like shooting ski, yes, it's, it's rubber tires. Wouldn't hold there no. if anything like this went off close to them. No, not at all. I know it. I can only tell you though that it's three times the size of Hiroshima. Every weapon I had was the W31 warhead, the W117, the Mic 97. So that's three times Hiroshima. Wow. Go big and go home. <laughs> that's crazy. But a blast that size at 60,000 feet, somewhere. I was thinking. <laughs> Livermore. 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 Livermore, California. <laughs> there were horses on the main street. Oh, great. We gotta do this in a hurry. Keep your camera out. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Switch this around. Come here. He's got to film this. Yeah. Come over here. This weighs about as much as two of your grandfather's feelings. Grab it right here. 
<laughs> you have to get four of these upstairs in nine minutes and on the laundry. Pull it this way. Whoa. In nine minutes. 11,000 pounds. Oh my head. <laughs> okay. Now put it back. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is a cool system. It's interesting. So you have to have one HE round down here, just in case somebody goofy with a private airplane or something did something wrong. But all the rest was up to the launch officer to have programmed the way it was required for the time. Absolutely. Go ahead. Nope. Those are the famous four keys right there hanging on the wall. Those goes in the locks on the side over here. Those mm -hmm. are the spin-up keys that are oh, the weapons. This is a launch panel. Wow. This is a gyro set. This determines which way the missile is going to go when it launches. Turn that dial. Tell me where it stops. That would be the safety. Don't fire the missile in this direction, it's unsafe. Tell me where it stops. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. No, it doesn't. <laughs> the 19 year old right, right on the launch panel determines where the missile is going, and there are no lockouts. Yeah. Wow. It's all done verbally. Tell you everything is, you know your job, and you're expected to do it. Yes. That is. The launch. Oh, right. There's no presidential release. No one calls the president of the United States and says we're about to deploy the nuclear weapons. It's just menacing. Huh? It's just menacing. Thank you so much for watching this far, everyone. It means so much to me. If you like the adventures and what's been going on in this channel and wanna see where it goes from here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to like and comment on this video down below. Everything helps and I will see y'all in the next adventure. Peace.